No, Johnny. Don't look into her eyes. They'll pull out your soul. Are you all right? <laughs> That's a bit no. more like it, my lad. Wait. Hmm. What the f Damn right, I didn't realize it was going to be that sort of a game all of a sudden. She wants her a bit of Johnny. Oh my god. So yeah, welcome back to the Let's Play for Siren Blood Curse. Now with more ethnic diversity, and hopefully a lot less pop, crackle, echo, and other such shit. <laughs> Say apparently when I was recording yesterday, I didn't realize until quite a bit afterwards, not only was I sitting closer to the mic than I'm supposed to, I was also speaking a great deal louder than I needed to, because my vocal cords had been properly massaged and, you know, cleaned up, etc, etc, by the hot chocolate that I was drinking yesterday and shall again be drinking today. So this time I'm going to be sitting a fair bit further from the microphone, just to be on the safe side, and yeah, going to be trying to speak, not exactly quieter, but going to try and prevent myself from screaming and shouting as I was apparently doing yesterday. Also, if things go the way they're supposed to, uh, you will notice that these will be being uploaded, both a set of this and a set of Condemned 2, uh, both within the same day, every day, for the next five days or so. Probably won't do it over the weekend. The weekend I'll probably go back to normal and record a couple of blocks worth and then just parcel that out over the rest of my normal work week. But for this at least, we shall be sticking to the one a day for each game system. To give you all a nice, hefty, fast-paced intro to Condemn 2, which I must say, by the way, has somehow garnered over 80 views on part 3 of set 1. I have no bloody idea how the hell that happened. I mean, seriously. What the fuck? I used the exact same tags for every goddamn level, so... Well, you know, every goddamn part, so... As if a different tag was bringing people in when it shouldn't have been, but... My god, really. What the hell? Okay. This douchebag just checks out the storeroom, wanders back down to where I am, then wanders back to the storeroom, I'm presuming. Mm. Apparently they're not going to start doing what they did in, um, what was it, Forbidden Siren, where towards the end of the game the zombies would have two different patrol routes that they would randomly undertake. So one minute they'd be walking back and forth in a corridor, then suddenly they'd go off into a room that they'd never been in before. And you know, hop out a window and all sorts of weird shit, and then to be back to patrolling the corridor all of a sudden. Yeah, apparently they're sticking to the one zombie, one patrol route for this. Well, at least so far, anyway. Because I am only on level 8. It's 12 levels in total, according to the menu screen. So we'll see how it goes. I mean, really, what's the worst could happen, right? Alright, you keep fucking off that way. No one's impressed by you, son. Right. Okay, just gotta get to the ladder. The ladder we found in Howard's level. Admittedly, when we were Howard, we had a weapon. Try and get bloody down here and do all this shit without a weapon to bloody protect myself with. God, I'm gonna have to run for the weapon and spin around and try and beat everyone to death before they kill me. Is that gonna be the only idea here? Mm hmm. Everyone has turned. Aha! Into the dark, motherfuckers. And hide. Maybe they're gonna come. God, red water of doom. Still definitely not going that way. Okay, here he comes. Who's that? You can't even see me. Don't even pretend that you can see me. You douchebag. Turns the lights back on. And then hopefully fucks off around the corner. Go on. You know you want to. Go right around the corner, down the bottom. You know you want to. Okay, cool. Well, he's distracted. Solid Snake, man. It's like Sam Jackson and Solid Snake all rolled into one. It's ironic, really, because they're into Soul Jackson, which is a very unoriginal name. I suppose they have actually defied a horror movie convention here. They may have killed the black guy, but they brought him back to life afterwards, too. And, uh, not just as a zombie, either. Alright, let's kill this wench. It's apparently we have to. She's on lookout or whatever else. No idea what she does if we don't. Oh! And suddenly, Jason Bourne! Well, Sam Jackson, actually, in this case. That's right. Don't make me tell you again. Dog. I don't know. 
Skirting the edges of racism there. Right. Let's move along, shall we? Swiftly. Swiftly as you like, please, Sam. Or Sol, rather. Okay, my phone's going off behind me. Please don't let this pick up on the recording. It's the last thing I need. <coughs> if it's irritating me, could do with a sip of hot chocolate. If I actually get at it. Mm, just about. Right. Yeah, I've got quite a busy to-do list today. I've got to record this. Then record Condemned. Process them both properly. Colour and brightness tweak them, because the first set of Condemned was bloody awful. It looked fine on the, you know, the recording screen. <clears throat> and even in the editing suite it looked fine. But the final process video was absolute bollocks. Seriously, I was... I was beyond disappointed. Oh, Alky zombie. He's down and out. Down on his luck in many, many respects. I mean, first he got killed. Then he was stuck in the mines with Jim. And you know how Jim loves to mine. And, uh, yeah. Now he's a drunken bum. What are the aunts? Where the fuck did you come from? Ow! I ain't dying here. Seriously, I'm not dying here. Bam! 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 You're on candid camera, bitch. Right. Let's get the fuck out of here. Turn my flashlight back on. I need this bullshit. Doobie doobie doobie. Turn... Nah, I don't need to do that again, really, do I? Let's be honest. There's no one to distract now. Right, that's you, the cunt I've just knocked out. The other one I've knocked out. Alky zombie around the corner there, giggling. Don't really care as long as it stays there. Uh, you're the douchebag, I need to be away from the ladder. You're currently standing more or less in front of it. Yeah, come on. You know, take your time and everything. I know you're dead, but for fuck's sake, man, come on. With a little urgency, eh? A little urgency, that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm asking for, son. Just a little urgency. Uh, come on, come on. There we go. Excellent. Right, now he's out the way. Awkward getting used to having the motion only to the left and then going into Condemned where it's, you know, direction to the right, momentum to the left. God. Really awkward. You know, they could have con set this up better as well. Should have done um, a directional movement thing like they do with like, you know, in the old N64 games. Where your character moved in forward in the direction that the you know control stick was pointing. Rather than this, where you move forward if you're pointing forward, and then you rotate to various degrees. I got a hunting rifle. Excellent. That guy got a gun. Isn't that a bit stereotypical? Ah, elevator. And a cutscene. Because the elevator is... Oh, you got to be shitting me. I came through here as Howard earlier. Damn. Never an elevator when you need it. You said it, Sol. Just staring vacantly at the panel. Well, here's what we're going to do then, Sam. Going to get that kettle and smash the cunt over the head with it. Are you with me? At least that's the obvious idea, anyway. Uh, is it actually going to work, though? This is the question. Nothing else in the room I can really use as a weapon, I don't think. So this is where the game gets hard. Rather than just giving you weapons, it expects you to remember where in the game there are likely to be things lying around that you can use. Hmm. So, yeah. I know, more or less. Uh, I can't get back down into the mine shafts to pick up any of those sake bottles or anything, can I? Just check. That door hasn't magically opened on me, has it? Tends to happen, in it? No. Fuck, right, fine. Door's still closed. Uh. I have noticed, actually, that I don't think Sam or any of the others apart from Howard have actually encountered the spider Shibito, have they? Am I just misremembering? Right, sneak my ass out of here without him noticing me. Carefully does it, Sam, old boy. Take the kettle. Or not. Crap. 
Well, in fact, of all the items I've come across so far, why would you not make the kettle pick up a ball? Pick up a ball? Yes, pick up a ball. Fucking hell. Powerful eating good shoe. I was taught by the best. <coughs> Hopefully, I remember to cut out all these coughing fits I seem to be having. For no apparent reason either. Very strange. Let's just hop over here real quick. Nope. No one out here. Perhaps in the main office, just over the way here. Can I? I can. Excellent. Fucking. Fucking just shoot at me? Oh crap, he can still see me. Move. Move, you prick, Sam. Ah, back in the office now. I've disappeared. Thank goodness that's a single shot weapon. Not like that double barreled shotgun that Saigo was, you know, so hung up on. You know, actually, wasn't I here at the beginning of the game with Sam? Except going in the opposite direction to the way I'm going now. I was here quite recently as Howard, too, wasn't I? When I was fighting Saigo. Oh, please, dear guy. I know that you've got a hunting rifle and a shotgun, but please don't let that be, Saigo. It's the last thing I need. It really, really is. <clears throat> yes, I know you can see me. You tosser. Right, uh, come on. Forget I'm here and move on already. Where is he? That's yeah, the elevator dude. Ah, oh, there he is. Cool. Good, he's forgotten I'm here for now. Let's wait for him to... Ah, good, he does look further away than that. Excellent. So... Aha, he turns even further too. So I should have plenty of time to nip out there. And... Is that a blockage? Hmm. I'm sure there was a storage shed up the, up the top of the road, though. That's the only place I can actively think of that I get a weapon from. Hmm. This could be a problem. Since if I can't go that way, I'm not entirely certain where I'm supposed to go. Well, he turns right right in a circle, too. Because apparently... I'm sorry, H, but we spin him right round, right round. Like a record, baby. Right, now that's completely blocked off all of a sudden. Uh, I gotta ask, are these... Is this supposed to be survivors who are doing this, or... Uh, the zombies themselves building barricades and fortifications and shit? Because that's too terrifying to even think of, really. Oh, I saw something. Where is it, where is it? Shit, mining pick. Excellent. Duck in here real quick, before that prick spots me again. Ah, now where is that little toss pot? No, oh, fuck, I, ugh, I cannot even see the pissing stairs now. 